Let's take at the methods of table creation. There are a number of ways in which tables can be created. The first one I want to look at very briefly is use of tools. Obviously you can use Oracle SQL Plus or iSQL Plus or Oracle Enterprise Manager. You could also use the command line of SQL Plus, but that's typical of scripting and we'll get onto that in a minute. SQL Plus and iSQL Plus can be used to simply type in SQL commands and execute them. Oracle Enterprise Manager gives you a graphical user interface where you can actually create the tables inside the GUI. Let's take a little look at that. Let's go and use Oracle Enterprise Manager console to create the table in the concept schema. I've already connected a system, so I'm going to go into the concept schema. I have all the different types of objects available. I'm going to go to the tables. Really, this is the simplest way of creating a table using the GUI. What we do is we'll just create a very simple table called equipment and we'll put a few fields in it. We will ignore all the stuff at the top and all these tabs. This is all really database administration level. What we'll do is we'll create, say, equipment ID and we'll give it a number data type. Let's open up this so we can see what's there. We don't need to change anything with that. And we'll say name. Oh, let's try something else. Try type. And we'll just give this a number. And we'll actually use a type ID. And we'll say owner. Who does it belong to? What is it? A description, a name. I tend to use name for everything. Try to keep it consistent. Now what we're going to have to do is to resize to get this on the screen. I'm going to show you the SQL. What it does is Enterprise Manager creating a table is actually showing me the SQL code it's going to execute. I could hide it, but I'll show it. So it's simply going to execute create table, concerts, etc, etc. I will create it. Table created successfully. I now should have a table called equipment. We'll go into this table and we'll have a quick look at it. And here's my table. Let's take a look at our next method of table creation, namely scripting. scripting. On the right you see an example of a very short script opens a spool which writes out the results of the script or the SQL statements into this log file. This will close that spool which will write that file and then will exit from here. Typically scripts are executed inside SQL plus either the command line version or the GUI version. With scripting you can include a large number of table creation commands or really object creation commands such as tables, indexes, etc, etc, including all the referential integrity and anything else you might want to put in there such as inserting data. Let's have a look at an example. This is all the scripts I use to create my concert schema. Obviously the most important one, or the initial one, is the one I have highlighted right here, which is called Schema SQL. In this script, which is executed in SQL Plus, in the command line window, I create all the tables, as you can see plus a number of extra indexes. I have the spool command at the top, which sets up a log file, which is a trace file of all the results of all these commands. I exit at the end, and then after I'd finished executing, I would check the log file to check for errors. There are a large number of other script files in here. Some of them reference subjects, which we will get to later. The schema SQL file creates the tables and the indexes. Other files create other types of objects, and some files create data in the database. Let's look at one of those files which create data. For instance, the category table. I've got a whole lot of what are called insert commands, 
which insert values into the category table. All these scripts are run sequentially, obviously in the correct order. You can't insert data into the category table if the table doesn't exist. All these scripts will create my constant schema filled up with a certain amount of data. There is a third method of table creation. There is syntax in the create table statement, which allows you to create table as a subquery. Now, what this means is that you create table as a select statement from other tables. This example here shows the creation of the shows table, where I say create table shows as select a dot name as act v name as venue from the three tables, and I join it with a where clause. The result would be a table called shows with the joined data from the three tables.